What up, what up, what up, what up? What's popping? What's going on? What's the deal? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good, people? Just wanted to go live real quick. I'm not going to be on here crazy long, you feel me? But um, I wanted to talk about something really quick. Really quick. Before I get into all of that, as always, make sure you guys get this book, How to Have Sex 2 in a Day, ebook, card copy, audiobook. Make sure you get that shit, you feel me? Make sure you guys go to mrlocario.com to get that shit popping. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's good, people? Miles, what up? Justin, what's up? Hold on, let me see if I can double check. Okay. Just want to double check and make sure this live stream is working right. All right. What up? What up? So everything looks like it's working right. I can see all the, the, the chat. I'm not going to be able to take any calls, but you know, I just wanted to talk real quick, right? So the thing is this. I wanted to talk about how you know it takes time to have success with women on a consistent basis. You feel what I'm saying? It takes time to have success with women on a consistent basis. You feel what I'm saying? Take some time. What up, Andrew? Tell you said the bald head looks funny. It's because you're not you're not used to seeing me with, with, with my hat off and shit. I don't know why I got this fucking pimple and shit over here. It's crazy. Anyway, um, yeah. So it takes time for you to to to, to get success. And and this is the, the reason why I'm saying this is because um, a lot of people try to downplay the necessity of learning game. You feel what I'm saying? People downplay this shit all the time. And when you downplay it, you don't realize that you need it to be consistent and to be successful. You understand? So if you're trying to be successful on a consistent basis, you need to learn the game. This is what I try to tell people. You understand? See, you can luck up on the situation. Let's say you, you actually go out, you talk to a girl, shit pops off. But then you're not able to duplicate that the next time you go out and the next time you go out. So... The next time you get a girl is like six months later. You know what I'm saying? Or next year or some shit. Because you didn't understand that. You needed to learn game to understand how to make this shit happen on a consistent basis. What up, Javante? What's popping? What's going on, bruh? What's good? So, so dudes need to understand that it's going to take time to learn the shit you need to learn to get where you want to go. You understand what I'm saying? It's really that simple. Live family said, go to sleep. <laughs> now, right after this, I gotta I gotta fucking edit the um the the bad boy membership joint. And all you guys should join the bad boy membership because on the bad boy membership that's dropping uh next week, I'm gonna be talking about how to get women emotionally attached to you. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be talking about how to get women emotionally attached to you. So you're not gonna wanna miss this. You feel what I'm saying? But what I wanted to, 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 you know, to talk about today real quick is you have to understand the necessity of learning game so that you'll know how to do things consistently. So you want to be able to go out every week and be able to make something happen. You don't want to have to guess all the time. You don't want to have to feel like, well, I don't know if I can get shit popping. You want to know that you can do it. You understand what I'm saying? Zay King was popping, bro. What's the deal? So you want to know that you know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? And also, too, this is the thing. This is a, this is key. This is some key shit that you got to understand. Is that when you become the type of guy who knows how to get women, right? And you're interacting with chicks. You have to understand that it takes a lot of energy to do this. What up, Joe Blast was popping? So you have to you have to wonder, do you have the stomach to deal with women. You understand what I'm saying? On a consistent basis. Because dudes think, you, you know, guys want to get girls, they want to have sex, but you forget that you're dealing with women, so therefore you're dealing with emotions. You're dealing with human beings. You're dealing with those, those people. You're dealing with these women. So these women are going to bring their energy to you. So you're going you're gonna to have to be able to um, be able to take that shit. You know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? The fact is, he said, what, what happened to the what? This live stream that I done nearly two weeks ago 
that Friday when it got cut off so early. Um, I don't know. I mean, it should be up there. Whatever I, whatever I, you know, whatever I put up on here, it stays. So I don't know. I don't know. You gotta, you gotta look for it. You know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, that's the thing. I, I, you know, I want you guys to understand that. You know, when you're out here, in order for you to make shit pop, you gotta be consistent with this shit. That's the only way. This is this is actually why you know partly why I have stuff like the Bad Boy membership because you want to be able to um, consistently study, consistently get out there, consistently make it happen. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you gotta understand. But see, dudes who don't understand it, they think they can just jump in and out whenever they want and then shit doesn't pop off for them. And then they're wondering why they're not getting women or getting the girls they want or whatever and shit not working for them and all this other shit. You see what I'm saying? So what's popping out there? What's, what's going on with you guys out there tonight? What's going on? I was like, let me get on this shit real quick. See what's good before I start uh, editing this, this, uh, live, this um, what you call it? Uh, the Bad Boy membership. You see what happened to the uh, Patreon? Yeah, we, we got we got to record the the new the the next Bad Boy show tomorrow. So me and Miles are gonna record it tomorrow. So it's gonna go up tomorrow. So for all the all the people that's on Patreon, yeah, it's fucking hot in this motherfucker. All the people all the people that's on Patreon, we're gonna put a new video there tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So it's, so it's gonna be gonna make this happen. So make sure all you guys join the Patreon. You know what I'm saying? Go to patreon.com slash uh, Mr. Locario. Let me see if I can type that in here. Hold on. Patreon. Hold on. Let me type this shit real quick. Dot patreon.com slash Mr. Locario. Boom. So make sure all of you guys make that shit happen. Get up on that shit. Everybody needs to be on the Patreon. The, 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 the cheapest level is only 10 bucks. You feel what I'm saying? So get on that Patreon and, and you know, check out the Bad Boy Show because we be dropping crazy game on there. Crazy game. You know what I'm saying? Man. You saw how much money will the Game Kings documentary be? I'm not even sure yet. We got we to figure all that shit out. Uh, Miles, Miles just basically... Um, finished doing the cover or he's, he's he's working on the cover of the dvd now he showed me a a, a quick a quick you know um rough draft that should look crazy that shit looks crazy man you said uh most you said most guys are not built to hold down long-term consistent three to five women rotations you have to be a great manager but that's the thing. With it. Most guys don't even need to do that. You know what I'm saying? Most guys can't do that shit. What most guys need to just learn is to learn how to get women consistently. That's what dudes need to learn how to do. But a big stain. I can't take. I'm not taking calls now because I got some shit popping off on my other computer. Right. So the thing is this: it's about you knowing how to be consistent. That's the main thing. It's consistency. Consistency. Learning the game, going out there, studying the game is going to get you more women on a consistent basis because what's going to happen is you're going to know what to do and when to do it and how to do it better. See, this, and this is the funny part that most people don't understand. Um, there's only so much that I can teach you. You understand? That's fucking hot as shit. There's only so much that I can teach you. What that, what that, what that means is, is that um, when you go out there and do what you got to do, there's stuff you can only learn through experience. You see what I'm saying? Which is why I tell guys to go out there because there's only certain things you're going to be able to learn through experience. And, and not, not even that. There's certain things that I can tell you, but you won't even understand until you experience it. So basically, this is why, you know, a lot of times, I'll, this is why I know a lot of dudes on the internet don't know what the fuck they're talking about because I'll say certain things and dudes act like I'm talking in another language. And the reason why they act that way is because they haven't went out to experience anything. So they don't even understand where I'm coming from. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes you need to have that experience bef bef so you can even understand what I'm saying in certain situations. You see what I mean? 
So that's what it is, man. That's what it is. You guys have to make sure that you're out there having those experiences because if you're not having those experiences, there's a whole other section of the game that, um, you know, you're missing out on. You feel me? That's what it is. That's what dudes got to understand. Uh, Chuck, what was popping? Now, I'm not taking calls right now because like, I, I, I don't have my um, Skype hooked up because my other computer is doing some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm doing some other shit on my computer, I should say. You feel me? Damien, you said like, logistics play a key role. Well, yeah, logistics is important. That's, that's another thing. I got to do like a whole thing just on logistics because when you're dealing with a chick, if the logistics is fucked up, you ain't fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no fucking popping off. What up, Chad S was popping? Yeah, type your question in. You know what I'm saying? Rye Watson was good. But yeah, this is what I'm saying. A lot of dudes got to, you know, it takes time for you to, to, to be successful on a consistent basis. It takes time. Then, this is the crazy part. And this is stuff that, you know, I started to learn later on is that, and I, I kind of talked about this earlier, you really have to have the fucking stomach, the stomach to deal with chicks, man. You have to have the stomach to deal with these chicks because what happens is that when you start becoming a guy women find attractive and you know what to do, you know what to say, all this other shit, you're gonna start to get more women but what happens is when you get more women, that's more energy, that's more you have to manage, that's more you have to be able to um, basically control your emotions. Because this is the thing, you're going to be dealing with chicks and chicks is going to do some shit, say some shit, act a certain way, that's going to, you, 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 just, you know, you're just going to be like, God damn, like it's going to be a, a toll on you emotionally. You understand? This is what most guys don't talk about when it comes to dealing with lots of women. I think my dude, Ron Wills, was talking about this. Shout out to him. He's in the Game Kings documentary also, but I remember he was talking about this pretty much too. He was basically saying, you know, the, the you know, players, um, they have to deal with a lot of this shit. You feel what I'm saying? You feel me? Patron saint of piping you said that you work for me which you, you want you want to work for free you want to intern <laughs> you want to intern and shit nigga man shit crazy man chuck why you say you're the guy on house arrest that called into your show <laughs> yeah i think i remember you bro i think i remember that shit you still on house arrest man are you still on house arrest getting that shit going Man, shit, I'm gonna need some help soon, man. I'm, I'm gonna need some 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 interns to get this shit popping. Man, what up, Nate? The noble was good. You said find a chick that fits your lifestyle. Real talk. That's how you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. But this, you know, the thing is, you know, at the end of the day. You know, I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys this. You have to go out there and do shit. You got to go out there and do shit. You feel what I'm saying? And don't you said dudes out here thinking that chicks owe them loyalty on the first date. <laughs> Facts. A lot of these dudes, be they, 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 they get with these chicks and they expect these chicks out here to just be fucking with them having sex with them if they like i know dudes who go on the first maybe second day with a chick and they want these chicks to just stop living the life they've been living you know what i'm saying <laughs> that they've been living before they even met these motherfuckers you understand jr you said should you cold approach to, uh chicks that don't give any choosing signals of course what are you talking about of course, you always cold approach chicks. Do not let these dudes out here fool you talking about don't, you know, wait for choosing signals. Don't don't cold approach. If you ain't cold approaching, 
you just scared. You understand? That's that's scared man talk. That's some pussy talk. If you're scared to approach a woman and talk to her, you're scared. You're trying to protect your ego. What up, ESA? Now I can't. I'm not taking calls tonight because I, I got it just on my, my my phone right now, so I can't really take the calls. Um, but yeah, that a lot of dudes are scared of this fucking cold approach. You know what I'm saying? Man, you said whatever happened to that dude that called in two weeks ago? Um, on a live stream, who was given six hundred dollars and had a wife and a girlfriend? I don't know. He needed. He, he hopefully he. I'll have him call back, or hopefully he'll call back in um on the next live stream or whatever. Man, what up, Eric uh, Garner? Was pop? He said, "Is it better to plan a first date on a weekday?" Or the weekend. Um, well, this is the thing. It's not necessarily um, about if it's the weekday or the weekend. You understand what I'm saying? It's more about when did you get the girl's information? When did you meet her? You understand what I'm saying? So if you met a girl Monday, right? You don't want to wait. You don't want to plan a date all the way on Saturday. You understand what I'm saying? If you met a chick Monday... You want to hit her up at least by Tuesday and try to plan a date for Wednesday or Thursday. You understand? <laughs> or, or, or try to see her that Tuesday. You want to move as quickly as you can. So if you, if you meet a chick on Wednesday and you hit her up on Thursday, you want to plan for Friday or Saturday. So you want to plan for it as, you know, as soon as you can. You see what I'm saying? Because if you, if you just, you know, I've, I've heard some people say, well, you know, the weekend is better because, you know, they don't have to get up for work and all this other shit and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, you know, they'll say that it's easier to get the chick to want to fuck you. You understand? Because if you see her on the weekend, then, you know, it's easier to, to get shit popping. But the thing is this, you have to understand is that if you see a chick and she's failing you, she will fuck you and want to have sex with you any goddamn day of the week. You understand what I'm saying? Any day. So it doesn't matter if you see her on a weekend or a weekday. If she wants to get it cracking, she wants to get it cracking. You understand? So, you know. Don't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's popping in the chat. Reggie Menard was probably saying you don't fully agree with what don't you fully agree on? So how do you mentally pre prepare yourself to approach women for the first time for the f for the first time in a while? Well, look, man. All you, look, all you gotta do is not care about the outcome so much. That's the problem. A lot of dudes care about the outcome. They care about how they look. They care about their ego. Drop all that shit and just do it. Just do the thing. That's all you gotta do. You have to push yourself. You have to almost force yourself to make it happen. He said the call approach is for guys who need practice talking to strangers. Well, yeah, some of that, some of that, you know, is for practice, but also it's it's for you to um, get good at it so you can get shit popping with these chicks on a consistent basis. See, this this is what this is what guys don't, don't want to tell you about this whole choosing signals thing. Choosing signals is cool. You understand what I'm saying? If a chick is choosing you. You, you, you see that, you take advantage of that, fuck it, let's make it happen, right? You go up to her and you approach her, you, you see she's choosing you. Now, if a chick isn't choosing you, though, you don't not approach her. You don't say, well, she ain't choosing, she ain't checking me out, I'm not going to approach her. Because you're, you're basically making it to where, um, you know, you're missing out on a lot of chicks. You feel what I'm saying? That's what it is. So, you know. Whatever. All right, let me see what you guys are saying. Okay, so... Chuck, what you said, I, I've been, I was talking to Shorty for two months. She lives 200 miles away. And lately, I noticed she don't call Harley anymore. I asked her, has she lost interest in me? And she said yes. <laughs> and she said... We, we will never, you will never what? Bro, so you talking to some chick 200 miles away, 
Are you the same guy who called in the other time talking about you just like talking to chicks? Is that you? I think that's I think that's you. First of all, don't be asking chicks if they lost interest in you. You feel what I'm saying? Don't do that. If a chick is not responding to you, if a chick is not cooperating, she's showing you she doesn't, she's she lost interest. And you just charge it to the game and keep it moving. Finesse the plug was probably saying you should sign for the Bad Boy membership tonight. You need to get right. I agree. Get that shit popping. You feel me? Man. He said, should you holler at a girl? Should you holler at girls after months of no communication ever since you finished high school? or any other place, like jobs or whatever, would that seem out of place or should you just move on? Um, what do you mean after months of communication? You're talking about, were you communicating with her at first or were you not, like, because I'm, I'm confused by your question. Because you, you're saying, it sounds like you're saying, should you holler at a chick after months of no communication as if y'all were communicating? And then you're saying like, since you finished high school or any other place like that, so it almost sounds like you're talking about chicks you haven't seen in years. So I don't understand specifically your question, but um, but if you know if you're if you're talking about hollering at a chick um, that you were hollering at and y'all just lost touch, then yeah, just hit her up and be like, yo, what's good? Let's get shit, let's get, get shit popping. You know what I'm saying? It all depends on what you did before that, though. Because if you were simping and acting like a little bitch for whatever reason, then that shit might not really help you out. You feel what I'm saying? But if y'all just lost touch and you want to, you know, uh, rekindle some shit and try to make something happen, then yeah, go do it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Live Fabulous was popping, bro. You said, when, when am I going to do the next, next live stream? I'm going to do my next one. Um, what am I going to do next one? Probably... I mean, definitely Friday as usual, um, but probably Monday or Wednesday. So probably tomorrow or Wednesday. You know what type of cologne I co that I wear? I wear this one, the uh, the polo blue joint. That's that's the one I be wearing. This shit. That's that's the. This should be. This shit is kind of high. It's tight. It's tight. I, I fucks with it. You feel what I'm saying? I fucks with it. Man, uh, Megan Giant eighty nine. You said, "Is it okay to give a woman a lot of attention, validation if she's feeling you into you or interested in you?" It all depends. It, you know, you, it's, it's still a balance. You understand? So what what it is is if you see a chick, if you know the chick is feeling you, right, and you know she's showing interest, she's making it happen. Yeah, you can. Show some interest back. Tell her, yeah, you know, you cute. You, I'm feeling you and all that other stuff. But you don't want to overdo it. You see what I'm saying? You want her to be doing more than you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only time when you, like, would do it more or, or sort of, like, do a lot of it is when you like the chick and you can tell she's feeling you, but she's too intimidated by you, which is why you have to sort of give her the indicator that you're feeling her feeling her you know what i'm saying so that she'll actually make something happen because if a girl is, is is super intimidated by you she may end up not fucking with you at all because she thinks that you're too good for her so you have to show her that you think she's interesting you think she's awesome you think she's the shit so that she will feel like you actually like her you see what i'm saying but that, that comes with awareness is that I should get the Creed cologne? Yeah, I'll be liking a lot of different joints. Like to show you said, hey, what's good? I was wondering what's the best way to escalate once a you have a chick back at your place. Um, I talked about this last time. Again, if you if the girl, oh, I'm move this back a little bit. Try to move this back a little bit. Um, give me one second. I'm fucking this shit up. Um. What was I saying? Now I was saying if the girl, if this is the first time you fucking with her, and you're and she's back at your place or you're at her place, um, 
make sure, like I said before, she's at a 10 and you're at an 8. You understand? Make her start making the moves first and then you go in. You know what I'm saying? Because you want it to be her who's initiating that sexual shit. You understand? Like, you could try to, like, nudge it a little bit, but you want it mostly to be her. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know. So, what's popping in this chat? What else you guys saying up in here? Man. Albert Ortega, you're going to have to watch the, the, the replay, bruh. You're going to have to watch that replay, bro. Man. Yeah, man. So, you know, like I was saying earlier, you guys have to understand the importance of game because in order for you to be consistent with this shit, I'm telling you, you guys have to learn this shit so that you can make it happen whenever you want. Reggie was probably said how to have sex book is super helpful. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Make sure you guys get this book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Make sure you get this book. This book is the shit. You feel what I'm saying? This book is the shit. This book right here. This is, look at the, this is the chapters right here. The chapters right here developing your own style how to talk to women in any situation this shit is tight you feel me so make sure you, you guys get that um jay uh godables you said why do i keep getting flakes i'm following your plan what plan what plan are you following what plan are you following Hey, even dudes be saying that, be like, "Yo, I'm 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 getting all this shit is fucking up," and and I'm following what you're saying. I'm like, "Really? Are you are you on a bad boy membership?" Well, nah, nah, I ain't really uh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, I'm like, really hilarious, man. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what up. Uh, what Chuck is saying. What happened? What, what are you saying? I can't see what you're saying. Jay Gottables, what do you you said what what plan are you following? You're still not telling me. What's what's the plan? What are you what plan are you following? Are you on the bad boy membership? You're talking about like, yo, I'm following everything you're saying, but it ain't it, you know, shit ain't popping. Are you on the bad boy membership? Well, you know what I'm saying? I was not, it, it, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Man. So Jay, how many how many girls have you done that to in the past month? So how many girls have you set up a date and then confirmed the day of and they flaked in the past month? For the whole like month of what? July. July is almost done. So Jay, how many how many chicks? I'm trying. I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to understand how many women. How many women have flaked on you in the past month? You still haven't answered the question. See, Jay Jay is playing games right now. <laughs> He's playing games right now because I'm asking him a simple question. How many chicks have? So you said 23 girls have flaked on you. You gotta be kidding me, bro. You gotta be kidding me, bro. All of them, so so every chick, exactly, I know he's trolling. Every chick that you tried to holler at in this in the last month, <laughs> which, which you claim is 23 girls, all flaked on you. Ridiculous. Well, Jay, this is what I want you to do. Since you're a bad boy member, and I'm gonna I'm gonna double check to see if you're a bad boy member, because I can check to see if you're on there. What I want you to do is I want you to send me an email with 
screenshots of your conversations with these 23 women. You understand what I'm saying? I want you to send me screenshots of your conversations with these 23 women who all flaked on you. You feel what I'm saying? Because I got I to gotta see this shit. Because this is the thing. This is, and this is exactly why dudes end up needing one-on-one -on -one private coaching. Because if you're getting flaked on by 23 women, something is wrong. Something's wrong. Because, Jay, let me ask you this. So each of, when you say 23 chicks flaked on you, you're telling me that 23 chicks agreed to see you on a date and then you texted or whatever to confirm and then all of them flaked? Exactly, O'Malley. That's what I'm saying. What's your definition of flaking? Because I'm like, that don't even sound right. 23 women, not one out of those 23 women showed up for a date. That don't even sound right. That sounds, that sounds crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this is, but again, this is, this is what I'm saying. The fact he said, Jay, he said he's troll, he's, he's lying and trolling. But this is exactly what I'm saying, where dudes need to be consistent with their shit. If you're consistent with your shit, you would not get 23 chicks flaking on you. That's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? He said he would send an email of all of them, Tinder, I got the number, I call them and text them. I confirmed the date. I don't talk to, you don't, you say you don't talk to them? What? Felipe, he's, he's, either he's saying something really goofy or he's trolling. <laughs> oh, man. So you said you went through 23 chicks, they canceled or they don't text back. And so let me ask you this, Jay, have you ever been on a date through Tinder or have you ever been on a date period? You heard what I'm saying? Because something ain't right, something's going on. Something is not right. And remember, if you're a bad boy member, you can send me questions for free. So email me and, and send me those texts because I need to see what the hell you write in these chicks. You know what I'm saying? You said after you set the date, you don't talk to them until the until the day of. Okay, and yeah, that's what you're supposed, that's what you should do. But when are you setting these dates? When are you setting these dates? Because if you if you if you tell a chick, um, you know, the longer you take to set the dates, the more likely a girl is gonna flake. So that's what it's little shit that I, that I need to see because I'm like, when 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 that should be popping off, I'm like, man. See now, Jay, Jay, now you sound like you're trolling because you said you've been on plenty of dates before you started using dating coaches. So how the hell, now that you're using dating coaches, everyone's flaking on you? That that makes sense. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ridiculous. Young Wee G, send me an email. Send me an email. Plenty of dates before you start listening to dating coaches. So if, if that's the case, why are you listening to dating coaches? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If that's the case, why are you why are you why would you listen to dating coaches, which is getting you worse? That doesn't make any sense. You said, you think it's because you're using my the approach where you don't text them a lot? So were you texting uh, were you texting the chicks a lot before and you were getting dates? He said he's proposing to them on the phone. <laughs> oh, hilarious. 
Do you say you get more success when you when you actually talk to the girl? Okay, so then why why don't you talk to the girl then? He said, what, is it, what exactly is wrong with dating coaches? Just ask him, nothing wrong with dating coaches. He was saying he got more success when he was listening to dating coaches. And then now he's listening to dating coaches and he's getting flaked on by, like crazy. That makes no sense. So, Jay, you're telling me you were texting a chick all day, every day, and you were getting the dates. And now you're not texting them all day and now they're flaking? That doesn't make any sense, bro. That don't make any sense. Like, what you're saying makes zero sense right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it makes no sense. That's what I'm saying. Send me your, send me the, the messages. Send me your profile. Send me all that shit. Because that, that, that don't make no type of sense, bro. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, Felipe. That's what, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And and you know what the funny part is, if you go to the Bad Boy membership page, I say on there, if you are not ha if you're having success with women, don't bother to check this out because you're good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're good. So either Jay is trolling, right? Or he's lying, you know, just just to be goofy. You feel what I'm saying? Because that don't make that makes absolutely zero sense what you're talking about. You feel what I'm saying? You said he's making says girls love attention, and from my personal experience, when a man is on his purpose. Girls never respond, which is a good thing because girls are distractions. What, what are you talking about? Y'all are not making no sense tonight. <laughs> What's going on with y'all? I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. Man. Ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna, when you send me this stuff, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test to see if you're actually on the membership. And then if I see that you're on the membership, I'm gonna look at your stuff and I'm gonna tell you what, what's going on because that makes no fucking sense. You know what I'm saying? So uh, young young wee G at, uh, hit me up at ask Mr Locario at gmail dot com. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, send me an email at ask Mr Locario at gmail dot com, and I'll you know make that happen. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to check it. Like right after this stream, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check all of that. You know what I'm saying? Joe, I said break down detachment. So detachment is basically. Uh, not being attached to the situation, to the girl. So you're, you're fully engaged, you fully enjoy the situation, but you are not um, attached to it. You understand what I'm saying? So when, when the situation is done, you're not feeling all upset, heartbroken, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Freedom of speech is that maybe Jay's game is not completely direct. That's what I'm saying. I gotta see what he what he's talking about because that that makes absolutely no sense. Where he's saying, uh, "What up, Josh?" Next was popping. He's saying, "You know, I've been calling these girls all day, talking to them, and then they show up for the date, 
But then I have 23 girls flake by setting a date and then confirming. That makes absolutely no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> so, you know, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to check it out. Famous Me says exactly he's not being direct. No, I'm saying Jay, that's what I'm saying. I'm telling you, I'm gonna look at your stuff and I'm gonna see because this is the this is the thing that guys don't understand about about the game. And I think Miles actually talked about this before too. It's like when you think about a bas think about basketball and when you're trying to throw, you're trying to get a ball in a hoop, right? The flick of your wrist will determine if that ball goes in or not. Just that little flick. So you might you might flick your wrist a certain way that's going to make the ball not go in. You understand what I'm saying? But if you adjusted your wrist a certain way and did it, you'll get the balls in. The same thing applies for the game. There's something you may be doing that's causing something small that you won't even notice. <laughs> that's why like I said I got to look at your shit. Because what I'm saying is that makes absolutely, just even off the law of averages, you should not be getting 23 chicks who agree to see you and then all of them flake in that, in that short of a, a time span. It makes no sense. You feel what I'm saying? You should at least have one out of those 23. That makes absolutely no sense. Create noise, you said, thoughts and dating. She had a, a date with one and she's trying to tie you down. <laughs> Oh man. BT Blank said Lady J calling me not believing him right now. I don't believe him either. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like, I gotta, I gotta um, you know, see what's popping. I'm like, I gotta see what's popping. Cause that don't make no type of sense. Let me see if uh hold on, let me see if, if Jay actually emailed me. Hold on, let me see if I can see what Jay sent. Let me see if Jay said anything. Hold on. I'm going to my email right now. I'm going right now. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see if he said anything. Goodness, what the fuck is going on with this email? Man, my email's bugging out right now. All right. Felipe, he said in basketball, you need to get in the rhythm in order to make jump shots. The same happens with talking to women. You build a routine really quickly once you get the rhythm. Real talk. I'm like cutting off my face heavy shit. Um... You say you think uh, Jay's misunderstanding some parts of the game. See, this is what this is why you know I tell dudes they got to get private coaching for real, for real, because this is the type of shit that um, messes shit up. You feel what I'm saying? This is the type of shit that messes shit up. Yeah, I was telling you I can't let I can't have any calls right now because the my computer is not gonna allow it to happen at this moment. But don't worry, send me the send me the stuff. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. I'm going to check it out. Do not worry. You know what I'm saying? Mega Giants eighty nine. You said Notorious B.I.G. Biggie Smalls had. A, all the women big head swag. Not real talk. My email is askmrlocario at gmail.com. Yep. Man. So what else is good? Shit, what time is it? I gotta head out in a second because I gotta finish this fucking um, 
thing. JR, I appreciate that, bro. Jay, you're making zero sense right now, bro. You said, why do you need private coaching if you was already getting numerous dates before dating coaches? So if you were getting numerous dates before dating coaches, why would you get a dating coach? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. That's like me saying, yo, I've been in the gym working out. My body's looking right. I'm eating right. Everything is great. And then I got a personal trainer and now I got fat. Like that don't even make no sense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That makes zero sense. You see what I'm saying? You see how goofy that sounds? I'm just saying. You see how that, that sounds ridiculous. Josh Nixon said, at bare minimum, you need wings to watch a game. Real talk. Real talk. Because dudes, see, when dudes you making mistakes, they don't realize that they're making mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And Jay, let me ask you this, Jay. Jay, how many dates were you getting before you was uh, looking at dating coaches? How many how many dates a month you were getting before you was fucking with dating coaches? So Jay, you were getting a bunch of dates and then you watch dating coaches so you could get more dates, but then when you watch the dating coaches, you were getting no dates. How the fuck does that even make sense? How does that make sense? That's like saying, look, I was making a million dollars a year and I got a, a, a business coach and now I made zero dollars a year. How does that make any sense? I was making a million dollars a year. Then I hired Grant Cardone to coach me and now I'm making zero dollars a year. How does that make sense? So Jay, you was getting 11 dates a month and now you're saying you're getting zero dates a month. How, how, how is that possible? <laughs> how is that possible? Martin, you said if we go and get one product to step our game up, a mouthpiece, flakes and confidence, what? Which product would you recommend? Well, that's the thing, you know, the, the best course of action would, if you wanted one, is to get this book. But, you know, if you really want more shit, you got to get the membership, bro. That's where all this stuff is at. All right, so Jay, how many women were, how many women within though that month um, flaked on you. So you got 11 dates. How many women flaked on you? How many women flaked on you, Jay? You're not, you're not, <laughs> I know, I know he's trolling gaming because that don't make any type of sense. That makes zero type of sense. Exactly, JR. Why would you switch your method if you were getting 11 dates? That makes no, that makes no sense. Jesus Christ. This, this, this is ridiculous. I'm I, I'm going to I'm going to check the I'm going to check the email, Jay. Don't worry. And Jay, make sure you emailed me at askmrlocario at gmail.com. Okay. Crazy. Let me see.
Oh, damn, he's saying he's trying to throw salt in the game. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So what else is popping, B? What else is popping? What else is popping? Move this back a little more. John H. was popping, bruh. And it's funny, for, for Jay's sake, I actually hope Jay is trolling. I really hope he's trolling. I really hope he's trolling. Uh, BB Films, I can't take no calls now because I, I got some shit popping off on my other um, computer. Like, I really hope this dude is trolling because if he ain't trolling, he got, he got problems. Because <laughs> I'm like, how is it, you know, everyone else is doing this shit, getting shit popping, but he's the only one. That makes no sense. Um, let me see. He said, how long do you give a chick to respond to you on the dating apps before you charge into the game? Like, if you send the first message? Um, the only time I really charge a chick to the game is if is when um, I try to set the date and she doesn't respond or she flakes on a date and she's done. You know what I'm saying? King League was probably saying you're having issues on Tinder. You don't get likes or matches. Send me an email, bruh. Send me an email at askmrlocario at gmail.com, bruh. Freedom of you said you don't think he's trolling, but if he's... If he is, he's he's just a waste of time. I, I agree, but that's what I'm saying. Like I I like I actually hope. See, part of me hope he's trolling. Because if he's not, and he's actually getting those results, something's wrong with him. Because you have to think about it like this: if you were getting women in the first place, then you tried something new and nothing was happening. Why would you keep doing that? So he said 23. That means that he had to have been interacting with 23 women <laughs> to get that result. So why would you go through 23 women, get zero things happening, right? And then keep, like, why would you do that? That makes no sense. Ridiculous. Then he says, I, the, the other girls, like I, I went on 11 dates, and all of them I was talking to like crazy. Ridiculous, but anyway. No, no, he said, what if she flake on you, then one week later text you about how bad she feel for flaking on you? How would you respond? Now nah, she's done. If, if, if it's the first date, if it's the first date and she's supposed to see you, she's done. Fuck all that, oh, I feel bad. No, she's done. Now, if this is a girl who you've been seeing, you've been fucking for a while, she flakes on you one time and then she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. You, you, you know, you give her that one more chance because she's already at least done something with you. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know. That's what it is. Create noise, uh, how, roughly how long should it take to get the hang of the game because I've been struggling. Well, the thing is, it's it's a continuous thing. It's not anything that like, you know, you say, oh, I'm here, I finally made it. No, it's a continuous growth process. You feel what I'm saying? There's shit that I'm learning every day. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm out here doing my thing. So it's not anything that you reach a finish line. It's you learn more and more as you go. But you gotta, but you get better as you go by putting yourself out there. Young Ouija said, what comes with the membership? The membership is 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials. And so right now it's about, I think maybe 65 or 70 programs on there right now. Let me 
man. Believe me, friends, you said learning the game is like learning martial art. There's always something new to discover. Real talk. what i'm saying man but listen i'm about to head up out of here in a minute so um listen remember guys make sure you get this book hot up since two in a day ebook hard copy audio book make sure you get that um also make sure you join the bad boy membership because i'm dropping the new joint how to get a woman emotionally attached to you you feel what i'm saying make sure you check that out um, King League, yeah, you, you, you get charged 97 as soon as you sign up. So you're paying for the first month. And then after that, you get each month you pay for the next month and the next month as long as you're a member. You feel what I'm saying? So listen, guys. Um, let me shout out everybody in the chat. Mahorn83, Odemi, X Dro, Gerald K, uh, Damien Forby, Caress Enterprise. Who else? Creighton, uh, Damien, Bill Jones. Who else is up in here? Black Cherry Bomb was popping. Bill Jones, who else is up in here? Young Wee, what up? Beast Mode, BT Platinum. Who else is up in here? Jake 3D. Eric Garner was popping with you. Chuck What was good. Um, Got Juice, what up? Was popping with you, man. Who else was up in here? Gaming was good. Randy Savage. Um, who else? Odami is in a building. Oaktown's finest. Dark Engine 190 was good. Cat New York, what up? Who else? Is he cool? Elijah Shaw, G Money. Uh, Jay was in here. So listen, guys, I'm gonna be back probably, probably tomorrow. Who knows? We'll see what the, the my schedule is like. Um, if not tomorrow, if not tomorrow, it'll be Wednesday. If not Wednesday, always Friday. You feel what I'm saying? All right, so I will holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.